Hey guys, my name is Tom. In this video, I'm going to give an introduction to 3D coordinate systems. Well, first, let's ask ourselves, what is the purpose of a coordinate system? And that is simple. We need to be able to locate objects. So, how do we build a coordinate system that is three-dimensional? <clears throat> On paper, we represent this as follows. We draw three lines, and we label them X, Y, and Z. So let's take a look. So the one I'm about to draw will be called the z-axis. Okay, so that's the z-axis. Label it z. And this one tells us how high we are above the XY coordinate plane. This one here that I'm about to draw, that is the X axis. And this one, you imagine sticking out of the page. But this is our two dimensional depiction of a 3D system. And then this one I'm about to draw is the Y axis. Uh, so this, these are the basics of a three-dimensional coordinate system, X, Y, and Z. The point in the middle, as always, as before, is still known as the origin because it's where the three lines meet. This kind of system is known as a right-handed system. So I learned this some time ago in a book when I was you know, doing my uh, studies in college. Anyway. Basically, if a guy is standing here and his arm, his right arm, falls along the positive x-axis, then we call this a right-handed coordinate system. Okay, so let me draw a little guy here. I'll draw him in the corner. Here's a guy. And his arms are stretched so that his left arm falls along the y-axis and the right arm of the guy falls along the x-axis, then this is what we call a right-handed coordinate system. And remember the point where the purpose is to be able to locate objects within the system. The point in the middle is the origin and its coordinates are of course 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Okay, each of x, y, and z is zero. Well, now that we have this, let's take a look at how you mark points along the coordinate axes. So the x-axis is a coordinate axis, the y is a coordinate axis, and the z is another coordinate axis. Let's mark some points. Now we'll use spaces of two to indicate the number one, to represent the number one. So things are not cluttered. When you draw these lines along Z, make them parallel to the X axis, as I've done here. When you draw the ones along the X axis, guess what? Make those parallel to the y-axis. This way you will produce a high quality picture. There you go. When you draw the marks along the y-axis, make those parallel to the x-axis. This is how you can ensure that equality is where it should be, so the pictures serve you well, in terms of being you know, genuinely useful. So this is how you construct a basic three-dimensional coordinate system, or at least a two-dimensional depiction of this three-dimensional system. Right? Because this is a drawn on paper, after all. So once we have this, let's take a look at how we label a point on the z-axis. Well, if you're a little guy, okay, a little dude right here, 
okay you want to march up the z-axis step by step like on a ladder basically all right what you are doing is this the coordinates of this point here could be described as 0 0 1 okay x is 0 y is 0 but z equals 1 then you hit the next next one here the coordinates of that point could be described as 0 0 2 and so on okay so in general a point on this axis here could be described as 0, 0, and then some specified value of z. Okay, and this is how I write my z's so they don't blend in with the uh, 2's as they've done in the past in some of my <coughs> handwriting. Now imagine instead that you run along the x-axis. So any point on the x-axis, for example this one here you could label as 1, 0, 0, the second point, 2, 0, 0. And a general point on the x-axis in this right-handed coordinate system could be described as x, comma, 0, comma, 0. Okay? A random point on the axis is described this way, just as here a random point on the z-axis is described this way. Okay? And of course, along the y-axis, the same principle applies. So a random point along the y-axis, you know, let's label a couple. Uh, for example, this one here would be labeled as 0, 1, 0. This one would be labeled as 0, comma, 2, 0. And then any other point would be labeled as 0, comma y comma zero like this so this is how you label points along the coordinate axes <clears throat> and this is our right handed coordinate system as you can tell this guy's arm here falls along the x his left arm falls along the y so we call this a right handed coordinate system and the purpose of the system of course is to locate objects. Now let's also go over the coordinate planes. What are the coordinates planes? They are the planes made by the axes. Okay, so let's label them. The plane made by the x and y axes I'm going to keep this really light now so it doesn't clutter the picture too much. All right, that plane, that is known as the XY coordinate plane. Okay, this is the XY coordinate plane. The next plane, and of course you have to keep in mind that this plane extends along negative x, positive y, and also in that direction, right? So think of it as the regular Cartesian plane, okay? But now it's the base of a three-dimensional system of coordinates, okay? Then the one I am drawing now, this is known as the X Z coordinate plane. So this is the X Z coordinate plane. And then the one in the back would be the Y Z coordinate plane. So that one looks like this. Okay, so the one in the back is the Y Z y z coordinate plane
And why do you have to know this? Because you will see this word coordinate plane, coordinate axis repeatedly as you study more advanced calculus. And you have to know how to construct a three-dimensional system and to make use of these pictures for additional insight and help you've got to know how to make these pictures serve you. So they've got to be very neat. So that will give you the information that you need. Okay. So take a look. If I locate a point in the XZ coordinate plane, such as this point here, then the X coordinate is specified as X, the Z coordinate is specified as Z, but the Y coordinate because we are not along the y-axis at all, is zero. Okay, so in the x-coordinate plane, any point has coordinates x, comma zero, comma z. The back plane, the x, I'm sorry, the y-z coordinate plane. Okay, if I choose a point in that plane, its coordinates are zero, y, comma, z. X is zero because we are not behind, nor are we in front. We are just on that plane, which is made by the Z and Y axes like these. And then lastly, if I choose a point down here, then of course this is the standard X Y coordinate plane. That means any point is marked as X comma Y comma zero. The Z of any point in this coordinate plane is zero. So this is a 2D model of a 3D coordinate system. The key parts are the origin, knowing how to cross three lines, three number lines, knowing that these are coordinate axes, knowing how to label points along the coordinate axes, knowing how to identify the coordinate planes, and knowing how to label points within each coordinate plane, as I've done here. And of course, this is a right-handed coordinate system. So in another video, I'll talk about actually locating a point. But I think this is, you know, enough for this video. These are the fundamentals you have to really know. Thank you for watching.